We are joined by Furman head coach Jackie Carson, Melitza Manilovich, and Tierra Hodges. We will start with opening statements from coach. Oh my goodness, that was fun. Uh, it's fun now that it's over. It wasn't so fun during, but um, just proud of this team, the, the grit that they've shown the last uh, two games in particular, how they've grown over the season. Um, we've had so many injuries, up, downs, left and right. So I think a lot of people counted this out and we never stopped believing, you know, so um, just proud, especially of these two, just every one through 15, everyone, even though some didn't play, contributed to this win because Chattanooga is a very gritty team. So many weapons on the floor, all uh, can score on different levels, all their kids. We knew they were going to make their run. We just had to just stay in their, their pressure. But huh, I mean, I, I think I'm at a loss. She's not going to tell you, but it's Melita's birthday. So that's a pretty good birthday present. She gave us a good birthday present with that three. So, um, and then, like I said, just baby T is just consistent. I'm just really proud to be their coach. Um, this team is special, and I think a lot of people are starting to see that. So hopefully we can continue this on Sunday. We'll open it up for questions. And as a reminder, please wait until you have the microphone to ask your question. Hey, coach, how did how you mentioned withstanding that run? How did, how did they manage to do that? UTC had all the momentum. They did. They had a ton of momentum. We got in foul trouble. Um, I think that was the big thing uh, starting in the first half of the game. Um, fouls kind of took away, uh, took the wind out of our sails because we had to go with some unconventional lineups just to try to save our girls being in foul trouble. But I mean, that's just what Katie has instilled in that team. We said it coming in. That's a championship team. I don't, I don't know how many championships they had. I know Mercer's kind of had a, a stronghold on it lately. But those kids know how to win championships. Their coaches know how to win championships. So we knew they were never going to get up, uh, you know, give up. And so they they just kept coming at us. And again, they have so many weapons. You you can't stop just one person. So Cornelius had a, a huge shot with an and one and and. Um, we just we just kept saying it. They're they're throwing their punches. We just got to withstand. We got to throw a punch back, and and that's just kind of the motto that we had the entire game. Uh, what triggered the, the quick start? <laughs> we either have a really good first, and a bad third, <laughs> or a really <laughs> bad first and a good third. Um, that's all we've been saying all the time. We've broken up our practices in the quarters. Uh, we haven't had a good start in a very long time. Um, I, I think. Obviously, we didn't have a good start against Sanford. Going into Sanford, our last regular season game, we were down, I think, nine to two. Uh, going against Mercer, the game before, we were down twenty to five. We just, I don't know, we, I got to give a better pregame speech, apparently. Um, so, um, we just preached in the locker room. This is first quarter, first quarter. We didn't want to look at anything else but the first quarter. So I'm glad that we we responded. Uh, will you and Tierra talk about the work inside? I know you had uh, forty four rebounds. 11 offensive, and you turned a lot of those into points. Yeah, I'm going to let her talk about that. She earned every one of those. So, um, I think it's a big thing that I had in my head was like coaches, like, go get them. Like, they, they, they constantly say in practice, every rebound is yours. And they kind of instill that into our heads. So every time I play, I just know mentally that every rebound is mine, and I just go get it. That's an, they're an amazing rebounding team. I, I think we showed it on film. We, we kind of said we got beasted last time that we played them. They just powered us, overpowered us for rebounds. That was a huge key. Like, we showed it over and over again, us falling on the ground. Um, you know, I, I think Bria Dial hurt us in the first uh, in the game at, uh, at Furman, just rebounding. And so we knew we had to box out, uh, especially with our switches. We were going to have guards on post players. And like she said, we, we're like, you got to box out, you got to go get it. And that grit showed that we didn't have the first time that we played them. Uh, Coach, uh, what's it going to be like facing Mercer for the third time this year? It should be pretty fun, I think. Um, I don't know, Susie's a great coach. And again, that's a team with five seniors. And, and little old Furman with one senior is going to go up strong against them. Um, Mercer is really good at doing what they want to do. They don't do anything special, but those kids hit the shots that they take. Um, they're gritty. Again, that's five seniors that want to go out on, the, on a great note. But at the same time, this has been our goal all season. And so we're, we're pretty excited to face Mercer. Uh, again, Susie, I know, is going to coach him up. She's an outstanding coach. She does a great job. Uh, we said it the whole time we didn't want them to lose uh, because we wanted to be to try to be the one that knocked them off. And they haven't been knocked off in two years. So it, what a wonderful opportunity for us. And um, we have nothing to lose from this. 
With that said, and feel free any of you to jump in on this, what was the level of excitement when you guys went back to the locker room and were able to have that moment to celebrate getting to go into the championship game? Oh, she was the craziest, so I'll let her talk. <laughs> oh, well, um, as soon as we came to the locker room, it was like a crazy energy, and everybody was just really, really happy and excited that we are going to play a championship game. And I don't know, it's just incredible feeling. It feels, feels great. And I think given that we haven't made it this far in a while, it's just everybody on the team, we always talk about how we have a gut feeling that this is our year. Like, we always talking about it. And to be here, it's like we knew that this was coming. We worked for it all year, and we're getting rewarded for it. We just got to finish strong. But I think our last thing that we said is we didn't have goals to make it to the championship game. Like, we're not celebrating making it. We want to make the best of it. And so we know we, that's going to be a tall task, and we have to play our best game. and. I think we welcome that, and so. But our goal wasn't to make it to the semis. Our goal wasn't to make it to the championship. Our goal is to win it. So that that's our focus right now. Coach, talk about what this means to you personally. You've been at this for almost a decade, and this is uh, this is a big step for this program. Um, I think it means the most for me because I've experienced. I've told them all the time. I, I want it for them. I've experienced it as a player. I've experienced it as a coach. Um, I haven't experienced it as a head coach, that, so to be able to do that at your alma mater would be super special. I want them to experience it. There's no feeling like participating in an NCAA tournament. Um, just the fanfare behind it, the level of excitement that it's, um, and then reward them for their hard work. So um, hanging a banner up, um, you know, I, I have that stuff, you know, and, and it, it means the world to me. I remember every single moment of winning in the Bilo Center in 2000. So. Oh, it's not by low anymore, but it was then. But um, I, I really want it for them. I feel like they worked hard. They earned it. We keep saying we're destined for this because there have been so many obstacles that's came in our way the entire season. And, and uh, in order to achieve greatness, more people or more things are going to be thrown at you that you have to overcome. So they keep overcoming it. So I really just want it for them. Any more questions? Okay, thanks, everybody. Thank you.